What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be going over my NSB setup for the Yeezy 350 Mono Ice that is dropping tomorrow on June 18th. As of right now, I'm looking at the Discord. It's confirmed to drop on all the four foot sites, so Foot Locker, Champ Sports, East Bay, and Foot Action. And then I'll be going over some of the Shopify sites that's confirmed too, like Shop Nice Kicks, Shoe Palace, Jimmy Jazz, and DTLR. And then also, obviously, um, Yeezy Supply. So before I start the setup, here's a quick sponsorship video. If you're in need of some proxies, I highly recommend you guys get Oculus ISPs. Um, now that I am sponsored by Oculus, you can get 25% off your order if you use my promo code JC, exactly how you see it on the screen right now. So head over to Oculus if you need ISPs, use the promo code, get your 25% off, and let's see how the proxies work for you. So now I'll get into the setup now. I'm going to um, start off with the, off with the foot sites, so foot locker first. The steps I'm about to do for foot locker is exactly the same for Champ Sports, East Bay, and foot action. So if you're a beginner, um, watch what I'm about to do for the foot locker. Um, task and then do the exactly the same thing for champs East Bay and foot action so I'm gonna look up foot locker for the mode right here you're always gonna put it on smooth and then for the skew this is how you're gonna get it if you're not in the NSB discord or you can't access it you just head over to the foot locker website and then you're gonna go right here to releases And then here's the shoes, here's the men's sizes, and then the grade school sizes. The SKUs are going to be different for both, so just remember that when you're setting up the task. But let's start off with the adult sizes. So here's the sizes they're having, 7.5 all the way through 17. And then when you scroll down, where it says product number right here, this right here is a SKU. So you just simply copy and paste that into the bot. It's that easy. That's simple. So for the sizes, like I just said, they're having 7.5 through 17. Um, most of the sizes should be pretty profitable, but if you get a huge size, you know, like I would say 14 and above, it might be a harder sell. So what I like to do is go to for sizes 7.5 all the way through 14 or 13, depending on wh what Yeezy it is. Again, I think these Yeezys, ye these Yeezys will be fairly profitable, so I'll go all the way up to 14. I don't really want anything um, higher than 14, so... Here's how you'll type it in. You just type in the number, comma, the next number, and you just keep on going like that. Don't put any um, spaces, just the uh, numbers, and then separate each by the comma. So exactly like that. If you don't care what size you want, um, you could just leave it blank for random, or you could type in RA. It doesn't really matter. So let's just say I want a random size. I'll just leave mine blank. Billing, select your billing. Proxies, um, here's the proxies I'm using. I am using a Leaf Residential, an Oculus DC, a Stealth Residential, a Jiru at Residential, and then the Oculus ISPs. Like I said in the, in the beginning of the video, I'm sponsored by Oculus, so if you want to get the Oculus ISPs and you want to get 25% off, use the code that I put in my in the beginning. I'll also put that in the, in the description. But those are the proxies I'm using at the moment. I'll just click on any you want. Advanced, I like. I don't really um, use advanced for foot sites. I just leave it blank for the default settings, so I don't even click on this. Schedule tasks. Right now on the website, you'll see here, it starts in 16 or 17 hours, which is where I live. I'm on the West Coast, so our drops are at, our usual drops for like Jordans are at 7 a.m., so that's what it says it's going to be at right now. But for Yeezys, it always changes to 4 a.m. or 7 a.m. if you live, you know, on the East Coast. But 4 a.m. on the West Coast, so just to be safe, I'm going to start it at 3.50 a.m. And if it doesn't drop, I'll obviously just switch it to 6.50, 10 minutes before the drop. But I think it's going to drop at 4 a.m. So that's when I'm going to start the task, 10 minutes before. So you just submit that. So that's how you would set it up for Foot Locker for the men's sizes. So now for the grade school. You just go back and get the grade school SKU now. So it looks like they're going to have four, sizes 4 through 7. Uh, for me, I would want any of those sizes. So I'm just going to leave my size at um, random. But here's a SKU. You just copy and paste that. And then 
and submit that. So that's how you set up the task for Foot Locker. This is the men um, task, and then here's the grade school task. It's going to be exactly the same for Champs, East Bay, and Foot Action, and the product number is actually going to be this exactly the same as well. But I'll just show you guys Champs Sports so you guys could see that it's the same. Here we are, go to releases. And here's the two shoes. Here's the adult. Exactly the same sizes as well for Champ Sports. And when you scroll down here, you'll see the product number right here. Exactly the same as Foot Locker. Whoa. Okay, so you'll just copy and paste that. So like I said, it's exactly the same. You go to Champ Sports now, leave it on smooth, put in the SKU, and submit that. Start this at 3.50 as well. Start all foot sites at the same time. So, like I said, I think it's going to start at 4 a.m. on the West Coast. So, I'm starting mine 10 minutes before. And you can see right here, it's exactly the same. So, here's a little um, tip that some people like to go, that some people like to use for um, NSP on foot sites. So, let's just say. This is starting at 4 a.m., right? So you, you'll start at 10 minutes before. People like to change it, change the advanced settings to like 10,000 for each or more. And then let's just say you start the task when the when the time um, goes to like 3:59. So let's just say you start it, and then at three it's 3:59 now. They would go right here and edit it, or not edit right here. And then they would change these to, you know, three thirty-five hundred, which is the default settings, or three thousand. So that's what that's a tip that I've gotten from some people that use NSB. Um, I haven't personally tried it yet, but I might try it for some tasks. But yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know in case you guys wanted to try it. But yeah, that's so I just wanted to tell you guys. So there, that's Foot Locker and Champ Sports. Now, again, it's gonna be exactly the same for Foot Action and East Bay as well. And here's the skew for those in case you just want to copy that down. Here it is, the 7 and a half or 17, which is the men's size. This is what you'll copy and paste into each of these websites. And then here's the grade school sizes 4 through 7. This is what you'll copy into um, all four of the foot sites as well. So that's basically how you make the task for foot sites. It's pretty easy. Um, if you're a beginner, it might be complicated at first. But you know, once you get used to it, it'll be super easy to set up your task. But now I'm going to head over to some Shopify tasks. So I'm going to start off with a Shop Nice Kicks. And it looks like here it's going to it's going to drop at 7 a.m. on the West Coast, 10 a.m. on the East Coast. So Shop Nice Kicks for the mode, put it on Cyborg 3.0. And for Shop Nice Kicks, there's a link you could get. So here's how you get it. You just head over to the Shop Nice Kicks website. Head over to the launches and here's the Yeezys so you just click on this it'll take you to the product page right here as you can see they're gonna have sizes 5 through 13 what you do you just simply go up here um, copy this link then you paste it into the into the bot where it says link it's that easy so for sizes like I said, it's sizes 5 to 13. I'm cool with either one of those sizes. So I'm just going to leave it blank for random. Task. Click your, or billing, click your billing. For, um, this is a Shopify site. So for Shopify sites, I've always been told to use no proxy, a DC, or an ISP. So for Shop Nice Kicks, I'll be using my Oculus ISPs. For my advanced settings for Shop Nice Kicks, I like to start it. I mean, I like to put it a little lower than the default settings, so I'll probably put 3,000 for each. So in the NSB Discord, and now they recommend you start certain Shopify sites like Shop Nice Kicks five to eight minutes before the drop. So I'll be starting this or scheduling it. I'm supposed to drop at 7 a.m., so I'll probably start it eight minutes before, so at 6:52. And also, I believe it's the same. Um, another tip I got: I believe people like to also put this at like t ten thousand for each. 
and then when it hits like two to one or two minutes before the drop, so 6:59, 6:58, then they edit it and then switch it, switch the settings to you know 3,500 or 3,000. So for this, um, I'm gonna probably try it out just to see if it works better because I haven't been able to hit Shopify lately. So I'll start off with these settings at 10,000, submit it, and then when you start, it'll start out by itself at like I said, I start, I scheduled it at 6:52. So when it starts, when it hits like 658, I probably edit it. So the way you'll do is just click on this when the task is um, going. And I'll switch these to 3,000 for each. And then submit it, and then it'll change it during the during the drop. So just try that out. Try that out if you want. I'm gonna try that out for all um, Shop Nice Kicks, Shoe Palettes, Jimmy Jazz, and DTLR to see if it works better for me. So. That's just a tip that I've gotten from some people. I'm going to try it out. But yeah, that's how you set up the task for Shop Nice Kicks. You can see here. You don't need a, an account for Shop Nice Kicks, so I wouldn't click on Require Login. And for Force Capture, you could click on it if you want. I'm not going to click on it, but um, I know some people do. But I wouldn't be able to tell you the difference because I don't really know as well. But now I'm going to go on the Shoe Palace now. Again, use Cyborg 3.0, and then for Shoe Palace, you can also get a link, so here's how you get it. Just head over to the website. It's pretty much the same um, the same way as you get Shop Nice Kicks. So just go to Releases, and then here's the shoe. It looks like they're having sizes 2.5 all the way to through 17, so if you want any of those sizes, just leave it blank, but... I personally probably type in 4 all the way to like 14. But anyways, you just go up to right here, the, the where it shows the link, you just copy and paste that into the bot. Again, put in the sizes you want. Billing. This is a Shopify site, so I'm going to use my Oculus ISPs. Advanced. Like I said, I want to try it out. I'm going to start it at 10,000. And for Shoe Palace, um, again, I'm going to start at 6.52 a.m. And when it hits 6.59, I'm, I'm going to edit it and then change these settings to 3,000. But anyways, that's how you um, make the task for Shoe Palace. Submit that. And there it is. Again, you don't have to try it. You don't have to do this. What, what I'm doing, you could leave it at, you could even put 3,000 and just submit it that way so you don't have to edit it just in case you forget to so that's what I've been doing I, I haven't been hitting Shopify lately so I don't know if that's the reason why but you can set it up um, how you want I'm just gonna try that out to see if it works better but I have hit in the past um, by just doing it this way just to let you guys know so I don't know just just try out wh what you think so now I'm gonna go I'm gonna do Jimmy Jazz now again Cyborg 3.0 Jimmy Jazz, you can also get a link, and it's exactly the same way as Shop Nice Kicks and Shoe Palace. Just go to Releases, and here it is. So you'll just click that. <clears throat> Again, it'll take you to the product page, and just copy and paste the link. Again, this is a um, Shopify site, so for this one, I'm probably going to go with no proxy just because I like to switch it up. Advanced, 10,000, and then I'm going to edit it a minute before the drop. Change it to 3,000, but I'm going to start this at 6.52 as well. Or I'll probably just try to mixing it up, so I'll probably start this five minutes before the drop. And submit that. So that's how you would set up the task for um, the Shopify sites and then the foot sites. So one more Shopify site before I head over to Yeezy Supply. I'm going to do DTLR just because I know for DTLR um, you can't, you cannot get a link for it. So you're going to have to use keywords. So I'm going to show you real quick. But again, Cyborg 3.0. Then let's head over to the DTLR now. So head to releases, and here's the Yeezys. 
like I've done with the other um, Shopify sites I just click on it and it would take me to the link but you'll see here you can't click on it so what you'll need to do is keywords and this is the keywords straight off the NSB discord they want you guys to they suggest these keywords right here so you just copy and paste that or just copy type it out if you don't if you're not in the discord and then just paste it into keywords again this is straight from the NSB discord so I believe these will work so just use those so this is a Shopify site, so I'll go with my ISPs, starting at 5 minutes before the drop, 10,000 for each. Or for this one, I'll probably do 3,000 instead of having to switch it, just to, just to mix it up, see which one might work, which one might not. So submit that. So there's the <clears throat> setup for DTLR. So now I'll, I'll go over Yeezy Supply. This one's a little more complicated, just because there's a little more... You know things that you're gonna have to do so anyways so type in Yeezy supply for the mode there's only normal mode so just put normal mode the PID here's how you get it it's in it's in the discord so here's here it is you would just type in this right here don't type in mono eyes just type in the GW2869 so copy that and then paste that into the PID for Yeezy Supply. Type in the sizes you want. Um, for proxies, you could probably use any as far as residential, DC, and um, ISPs. So let's just say I'm using my Leaf. This is supposed to drop at 6 a.m. Um, NSP Discord usually pings everyone right when to start it, but if you're not in the Discord, you should just start it at like right at 6 maybe. <coughs> Settings. Um, it's really up to you. I haven't really seen any recommendations for that. So I'll probably just leave it at the default settings. So I won't even click on this. Schedule tasks, like I said, at 6 a.m. Or if you're in a Discord, don't schedule it and then start it once the Discord says to. But just, just do that if you're not in it. And it always have this checked. So do that. Once you submit that, you're not done yet. Well, after this, um actually you're in you could you're done after that but right before the the drop so let's just say it starts at six maybe do this about five five to ten minutes before the drop you're gonna head over to captcha you're gonna head over to this second one right here click it select site go down to yeezy supply and then open solver you'll notice here it's gonna open up this page and do not close this tab. Don't, don't close this tab. You're gonna go right here to uh, to open a new tab. Click on Gmail and sign into your Gmail. So once you once you sign in, it'll take you to the Gmail page where it shows all your email. So just leave it on that page. Leave that open. Leave this open and just minimize it. And then once you do that, you're pretty much done. What that page will do is help the, it'll make the NSB bots do all the captures for you so you don't have to do it. So make sure you do that step. Don't do it the night before because once, once you close the NSB bot, so let's just say I closed it right now, um, that page will close as well. So do that right before the drop so you don't close anything. That stays open and this page stays open and then you know, you'll be able to run for a Yeezy supply. But that's gonna pretty much wrap up my setup video for the Yeezys. I went over a few websites for you guys, so hopefully you guys are able to copy a pair. Uh, hopefully I'm able to too. If I do, if I am able to copy a pair, I'll be doing a live copy video for that and showing you guys what setup worked the best for me. But um, that's gonna be today's video, guys. If you have any question at all, just DM me on my Instagram at jcresells559, or you could leave it down in the comments and I'll try to answer it as fast as I can. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. I'm always doing NSB um, videos, so if you're a beginner, um, just subscribe, please, and then hopefully my videos help you out. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.